so we ask ourselves the question, can you take a six-year-old to Universal and I'm have fun? Because in my mind, Universal is kind of more extreme, I guess. Yeah, We're... this is so cool. Okay, so it's so cool. So spoiler alert. So one of the things that we'd like to do, take her on some kid rides. All right, there they go. Third time. I think this one's definitely working out okay. So the question is, is a six-year-old going to have fun in Universal? Well, so far, I'd say yeah. Yeah, they are going to have fun. And here they go on the old twirl and hurl. It seems like little kids like this type of ride that spins around. I mean, I, I do too. I actually have a lot of fun on these. They're kind of my favorite. Hi. Oh, this is such a fun looking ride. And it's really hot today, so I'm sure that the breeze is actually pretty nice as well. Oh, I would say, yeah, the, a six-year-old can have fun at Universal. I mean, why wouldn't they, right? Why wouldn't they? <laughs> In my mind, I think of Universal as having like extreme rides, you know, like big roller coasters and stuff. But I mean, that's not all they have. They have a lot of, you know, fun stuff like this for the, for the kids. How was that? Yeah, okay, well. I guess that's okay. And it's not just rides, right? It's also games. Oh, yeah, that's a, that was a hefty throw right there. Oh, oh. And all these carnival games are over here in the Simpson, Simpsons area. Actually, it looks like she would like to try to catch a fish. Oh, dang. Oh, let's see what we got. 15 pounder. Oh, she can get a cat or a mouse. And she's going to carry that. Actually, you know what? JR is probably going to end up carrying that. He doesn't know it yet. Now, technically, she is tall enough to ride this ride, but I don't know if she's going to like it. But I, we're going to find out. We'll find out and report back. Well, it has been some time now. And uh, so just to report back, so she did enjoy Men in Black. Uh, then she actually needed a, a little nap. Kid might need a nap. If it's hot outside, so just remember that. And now it's actually to that time where they're actually shuffling us out of here. We are not here for Halloween Horror Nights, but Halloween Horror Nights is happening. It's actually started this weekend. We didn't know. But anyways, we get to see it a little bit. Look, there's a pumpkin. Anyways, uh, also Minions. She actually really enjoyed the Minions ride. Uh, she wanted to do it again. But like I said, they're actually shuffling us out of here because they got to get ready for Halloween Horror Nights. But now we're going to go to Islands of Adventure for some more fun. All right, there we go. Now we can continue her adventure. They want to ride on a dinosaur, a flying dinosaur, Pteranodon Flyers. It was closed down a little bit yesterday, but you got to have a kid to be able to ride on that thing and just one adult per kid. So me and JR, Ooh. some some dinosaur sounds down there. But anyways, uh, we're going to mess around in this play park area because it looks kind of cool. And I think there's some like caves or something. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some exploring. That's a that's a spooky JR, why don't you go across that? You're gonna go across that? Go for it. Yeah, I guess I'll go too. Oh my gosh. It's like a bubbling lava pit beneath us. Oh, oh this is like pretty spooky. Oh. Oh go either way. We go to the left or to the right. Alright, so we're just doing some exploring here in this little play area and there's a caution wet surface area. This looks dangerous. Usually if there's lights like that it means it means danger. Yeah. Okay here's the here's the danger. It's a it's a wet firing water contest going up there and down here. I don't know if I want any part of this. Okay, yeah, that was, uh, got a little splished. A little splish splashed over there, danger zone. Come back this way. Look at that. Real amber, you think there's dinosaurs in there? I think there's dinosaurs in this amber. Wow, that's neat. There's plenty of opportunity in here to find some dinosaur DNA. Let's see. Go this way. Uh. Uh, yep, sure. Oh. Yeah, boom. Okay. Uh. 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 
Okay, we can keep going up, but I don't know if I can. Oh, really? We're climbed it. Because we're pretty tough. Got we can it. do things. Whew. This place is pretty cool. A lot of neat places to explore. In this uh, Camp Jurassic, is that what this is called? Camp Jurassic? Try to go over that area over there. Uh, mm. Boy, you really gotta crunch down and get through there without taking your head off. Oh. Oh. Okay, this area is neat because they got these things on the floor or on the ground. When you step on those footprints, it makes noises. Um. Scary. Inclement weather in the area, so the Pteranodon flyers are stationary. And Jessica and Brentley are right there. They're literally right at the next, well, not the next one, but the one after the next one. So, uh, that is not great luck. She's right there. Uh. Oh. Oh, you bailing? Yeah, well, there's a big water range. Oh, okay. Which way you want to go? Through the caves? Do you have your attention, please? Due to inclement weather in the immediate area, normal operation of Tyranid on fires has been suspended for your safety. We will resume normal operation once the inclement weather has passed. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your cooperation. Just walking back. I'm trying to beat the lightning. There's been a couple of pops as we're making our way back to the hotel. We decided to walk. I think we'll be all right. The hotel is literally right there. It's just right there. Uh, all right, well, let's try this again. The sky looks much more in our favor. And we're gonna try to take this kid on this, this Pteranodon Flyers ride one more time. I think we're gonna do it. It is the next day. Yes. That's, that's right, we're doing the Jurassic Park. First, we gotta get a picture on this uh, cheetah jaguar thing. I don't know what that is. The old Camp Jurassic. One more time. I don't know if you'll hear it, but this is the Echo Cave. Can you hear it? Oh, I can. We remember that from yesterday, but we're here for these guys. These Pteranodon flyers, finally, hopefully, the sky is pretty clear. We're not gonna get shut down. We might get shut down, but I don't think we're gonna get shut down. Not today. Today is our day. I mean, it is Florida, so a storm could pop up at any moment, but we're gonna keep our fingers crossed for these guys. Cause it's, uh, it's been too many times now. We gotta, we gotta do it. Come on, Florida. Uh, all right, they're getting strapped in. This is a good sign. I think we did it. I think we did it. Oh, there they go. They're doing it. Look at them. No weather gonna hold them back now. Oh yeah, there they are. There they go. Okay, let's see if we can catch them back at the front. They're at the top. Huh, let's go. Around here, gotta make it across the the noise. Let's see, did we make it? Oh, we made it! We made it! Well, we did it with Eve. We did the Tyranid on flyers successfully, and uh, apparently, apparently, it was okay. 
Now we're in the spooky caves with lava. Yep. Bye. Go. All right, we did it. We visited <laughs> Camp Jurassic and finally got to do the things. So now we get to do some more things. That one? No? Okay. Is a six-year-old gonna have fun in, in Universal? Um, what? Oh, hang on. The six-year-old wants to talk. For me, TT, with all the Pteranodon? Yeah. The Pteranodon flyers? You did that, yeah. right? Finally. Bye -bye. Oh, wait, hang on. We got, wait, we got more. It's all kinds of things that kids, I think, can do here. Not just some, but more than you think. We're gonna go here into the old Harry Potter world land city. See what, uh, see what strikes her fancy. It does get kind of tight through here, though. I will say that, so hang on to your kids uh, pretty good. I mean, not that, I don't think I'll get snatched, but you know, just because you don't want them to get lost. And then you're wasting time looking for kids. And of course, the adults gotta have a little fun too, right? Yeah, we do. Not that we're not having fun. We are having a good time. It's cool, like, taking a kid and letting them see the different things that are going on uh, and experiencing things for the first time, seeing what excites them. One of the funny things is going through old Harry Potter town. One of the fun things that the kid likes to do is anybody who's wearing like a, a funny, funny hat or like a robe, it's like, ooh, a wizard, look a wizard. So anyways, we're doing the things that the kid likes to do or wants to do anyways. And it's not just about, uh, you know, what she wants to do, but it's what she can do because there are height requirements on certain rides. Um, here, I'll, I'll put in a, a picture uh, over here. This is, uh, this is a, a picture of the, the ride height requirements. I don't know how tall she is, so that doesn't really give you a good reference point. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll add that somewhere in here, like magic, like we're in Harry Potter land. Numbers mathematician height is the osis. Boop. Yeah. Oh, Hogsmeade, not Harry Potter's Townsburg. It's Hogsmeade. But now we get to go to London King's Cross. So we're gonna go to King's Cross now. So we're gonna ride the train. That's a thing that she can do. I think she'll like it. She likes Harry Potter stuff. She's getting a little tired. Remember, so yesterday we had to do a little nap time about midday. Midday? No, midday. But, uh, oh, sounds like Hagrid. Is Hagrid over there? It's Hagrid's hut. I think she needs a snap. Oh, maybe she's not right. Look at her, she's got lots of energy. this. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's call it a day. And that's that. We found the exit. Universal Studios Florida Edition. Kid friendly. We had a good time here with this kid. 
This kid had a good time with us even. There's the answer to the age old question that I don't know if it's been asked before, but we asked it and we didn't really have the answer. Can you take a kid, a kid like this, to Universal Studios and them have a good old time? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You can take them here and they are going to have a good time. Just remember, the sun is hot. You may have to take breaks, you may have to do things, but in any case, there's the answer. Six-year-olds can't have fun at Universal. See you next time.